Hello, today I'd like to show you how to use TrueClient for either WebInspect or ScanCentralDAST to record a login macro that uses time-based, one-time password, multi-factor authentication. Um, this is commonly known as TOTP. Some people call it an authenticator app. It's a very simple process. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to load up TrueClient, our macro recorder. And I've got a simple demo app that we're going to use for this. We need to tell TrueClient about our authenticator. And these use a shared secret. We also have the option of just scanning a QR code, which is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to give it a simpler name, call this authenticator TOTP. And now we're ready. So from here, this is just like recording any macro. I'll put in our username and put in our password. And I'm going to skip the MFA step at this point and just hit login. So we can see because I didn't put in a MFA code, the login fails. That's OK. We're going to stop recording. And we're going to add that MFA step. I'm going to ungroup everything, and I need to add a generic object action. I'm going to put it right after we put in the password. Need to go back, and where I want to put in that code is right here, where we put in our MFA code. And instead of this being a click, our action is going to be type time based one time password. And we want to pull that from the authenticator we set up before. So I named it TOTP. We put that in the authenticator section here of arguments. And at this point, we are ready to replay our macro. I'm going to push replay. Everything reloads. True client puts in our username, puts in our password, and pulls up our MFA code. Now you can see our login is successful. Because this is for a login, now asks us to give us a object on the screen that tells us we had a successful login. I'm going to select login successful. And at this point, we've successfully recorded a login macro that can be used in WebInspect. It can be used in ScanCentral DAST. And we don't have to do anything manual from now on. This macro is itself registered as an authenticator app, so it can be reused anywhere without app setting up that um, authenticator again. Thank you very much. Have a good day.